Hello, Divination, and welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a countdown deal of the day product section in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the very first thing we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to click here on pages and add new. I'm going to give this page a name. I'm going to call this deal of the day and then use Divi Builder. So this is going to take us to this layout so here we can we need to uh, choose how we're going to be designing this page so we're going to design our page from scratch so i'm going to click on start building now it's time to choose our columns so i'm going to go with two equal columns and before i add any modules in let me start by making some adjustments here to my row settings so i'm going to click on this gear icon and in the row settings i'm going to click here on design sizing so the very first thing i'm going to do here is to add my gutter width now the gutter width is the space between the columns so I don't want any spaces between my columns. So I'm going to drag all this all the way down to one. And then I'm going to equalize my column height. So that means that whatever information I put in the columns, they are going to have the same height. Next, I'm going to work on the width. So by default, it's set at 80%. I would like this at 100% and the maximum width as well at 100%. So moving on, let's head over to spacing. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to spacing and what we need to do here is to add our padding and I'm going to set this to zero both to the top and the bottom. Right. So moving on, we also need to go into our columns. So I'm going to click here on content and the changes that we need to make need to go on column one. So I'm going to click on this gear icon of the first column, click on background. And then we're going to add a gradient. So I'm going to click on this plus button and add my first color by clicking on this color item. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I am using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So now I'm entering my second color and now it's time to adjust my direction. And uh, currently it's at uh, 180 degrees. I'd like this at 90. And then I'm also going to adjust my start and end position. So I'm going to set this to 66 and end position to 66. So now, as you can see, we have a solid line. So we don't want this gradient on the hover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this arrow and remove this on the hover. So I'm going to come over here, set this to zero, go to my second color. Just add my transparency like that. Now it's time to go into our column two settings. So I'm going to click on this back arrow and click on this gear icon. So here, what we're going to do is go into the design tab spacing and we need to start by adding our left padding, set it to five VW and the right padding. We're going to set it to eight VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes. Right, so moving on, what we also need to do, and I forgot to mention this right in the beginning, is to make sure you're running WooCommerce because this is how we're going to add our product. So over here, I'm just gonna hover. I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. It's a free plugin which enables you to run an e-commerce store. So I'm gonna come over here to products and click on add new. So the product we're going to add here is an office chair. So I'm gonna give it a name and just call this modern office chair. But of course you can uh, use this for any type of product that you'd like to. Okay, so I've got my product and then next I'm gonna give this a price. So let's call this 159. And we also need to give this a description. So I'm gonna use some lorem text. So I'm just gonna copy, you know, you know, a paragraph here to add to my description. It saves me a lot of typing. So over here, I'm just gonna paste my description like that. And pretty much that's all we need for our product. So I'm gonna hit publish. And now we need to add our product image. So I'm gonna come over here to my product image and add my chair. There we go, set product image. And then I'm gonna hit update. There we go. So now we have our product. So back over here now, uh, I'm just gonna save and refresh this just to make sure that uh, my image is going to be synced here with this design. All right, so now it's time to add our image 
to column one. All right, so on column one, we're gonna start by adding our Woo image. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and search for Woo image. And this is the module that we need. So I'm gonna select it. And this is our latest product, as you can see. So just to be on the safe side, you wanna come over here and choose the actual product. And remember, we named this modern office chair. So I'm gonna select that. So over here on the elements, we have a few items here. So let's say we had a sale. We wanna make sure that we don't show the, um, sale badge. Now let's do some customizations to this. So I'm gonna come over here to design spacing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to add a top margin of 6VW. And we also need to add a left padding of 3VW. And uh, we also need the same on the right as well. So I'm gonna just gonna add my value by pressing that chain. So that chain gives us the value both on both sides. All right, so with that now, the next stage is to add a text module to column one. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm going to add my text module by clicking here on this plus button and searching for text, I select that, and we're just gonna say a deal of the day in here. Now let's add a background color to our text module. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click on this plus button. And because our color is going to have some transparency, I'm just gonna drag the slider down so I get these brackets. And then I'm gonna paste. Oops, that's not the color that I want to paste. And by the way, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I am using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's paste our color in here. There we go. So that's the color I wanted to paste. And then we need to go into the uh, text settings because in the text settings is where we're going to add our font type. So I'm gonna click here and let's go for, instead of using the default, let's go for Playfair display. There we go, so that's gonna be our font. I'm gonna set this to heavy or bold. In fact, let's go back here. I don't know what happened here. My font wasn't chosen. There we go, so I'm gonna select it. Then I'm gonna choose heavy for this because I like this nice and bold. Our style is gonna be uppercase. Our text color here is going to be white. So I know I've used white before, so I'm gonna click here on recent and select white. Now it's time to set our size. And my size here is going to be 1.5 VW. Now let's play around with the width. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and I'm gonna set my width here to, let's say 20 VW. Now, of course you wanna do the same for the desktop, tablet and so on. So to do that, all you have to do is to click here on this uh, mobile icon, click on tablet, and you can set your size over here. So here I'm gonna set it at 40, and then on the phone, I'm gonna set it to 45. There we go. Now let's give this text some breathing space. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to spacing, and let's give this a padding of 3VW, both to the top and the bottom. So now you can see it really stands out and it's got more breathing space. Next, we're gonna give this a box shadow. So for our box shadow, select box shadow here. And we're gonna go with the first option and let's start with our blur strength. So for our blur strength, we're gonna set this to 80 pixels. And for the color, uh, this color is fine as it is. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then we are going to go to Transform Translate. So we're gonna add a bit of uh, design to this. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to Transform and then Transform Translate is the second tab. Now we need to add our values. So first of all, I'm gonna disable this chain because the values I'm gonna add are different. So on the right, I'm gonna set this to minus 38 VW and then, so pretty much I think it's okay the way it is. But you can see now that uh, it had, with this transparency, it really looks nice over here. Okay, so that's all I need to do here on the transform translates, but notice that if you had left the chain on, the value here was going to also be applied to the bottom. All right, so let's save this now and let's move on and add a text module to column two. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So here we're just gonna say offer expires in. In fact, let's add some columns. Now let's uh, let's do a bit of work on this in terms of font type. So I'm gonna click here on design text and from default font, I'm gonna set this to open sans. Let's go with open sans. Uh, weight here is going to be light. Our style is gonna be uppercase and our text color is going to be black, and the size is going to be 1VW. So we don't want this like really massive 
in your face. So pretty much this is the size that we're going for. So you can also set your size for the tablet and phone as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this icon, click on tablets. And here on tablet, I'm gonna set it at 3VW. And then on the phone, let's set it to 4VW. And here it is right here on the bottom. Okay, so let's continue here with our design. So the next stage is to go to spacing because we need to add some margin and padding. So I'm gonna choose spacing here. And for my top margin, I'm gonna set it at 8VW. And for the bottom padding, we're gonna set this to 2VW. And for our left padding, we're gonna set this to 2VW as well. Now let's give this a border. So I'm gonna come over here to our borders and the border we need to add here is a left border. So I'm gonna select my border. So right now it won't show because it doesn't have a size. So our size for our left border is going to be two pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now you can see it shows. And then we are going to add our color. So our color here is going to have some transparency. So I'm gonna drag this slider down and paste my values between the brackets like that. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using, I will leave a link in the post in the show notes below. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save. And then the next stage is to add our countdown timer. So I'm gonna search for countdown for our module. And here we can set our date. So, you know, it can be whatever you want. So let's say this is gonna run until the uh, 30th of April. Most important here is, uh, the most important thing here is don't leave this set to zero or a date that has passed because this won't work. We need this to be a countdown. So as you can see here, it's already counting down. All right, so this color here doesn't match our design. So let's go ahead and remove that background. So now it's gone. Now it looks like everything has disappeared. That's because we've removed the background, but we are going to go in and adjust the colors in a moment. Next, let's head over here to, to text on the design tab and align this to the left. So for our numbers font, in fact, you know what? It's weird trying to design this without seeing anything. Let's add our colors for the numbers. So numbers text, we're gonna add our color here by clicking on this color picker. And now we can see our colors. Okay, so let's set our fonts here. So for our numbers fonts, we're gonna set this to open sans. We've used this before, so there it is and semi bold for this. And then for the size, we're gonna set this to 2VW. There we go. So moving on, now that we can see the text, we need our separate separator text settings. All right, so let's look for our separator here. So there we go. And we're gonna set this to white. So I'm gonna go to my recent colors and here's my white. Now let's go to our labels text settings. So here we have our separator. Let's look for our labels text. There we go. Let's start by adding our color here. And we also need to add our size. And for our size, we're gonna set this to, let's go with 0 0.8, because we don't want this to be way too big. There we go, so that's just that's just right. Okay, so moving on, uh, we need, also need to go to the sizing. So we need to shrink this width. So I'm gonna scroll down here to sizing, and I'm going to set this to 30VW. And we also need to do the same for the desktop and mobile. So here on the tablet, I'm gonna set this to 45VW. So let's go ahead and enter it here. And for the phone, we're going to set this to 65VW. All right, great. I know we can't see anything here, but right now everything is here on the bottom. All right, so back over here to our desktop view. Let's work on our spacing because here we need to adjust our padding. So let's start with our top and bottom padding. This needs to be set to zero, both to the top and the bottom. And oops, for our left and right. So for our left, we're gonna set it to two VW and pretty much that's all we need to do. And then the right needs to be at zero. Now let's add a left border. And just like what we did before, we're going to come over here to border, choose left, and then the size is gonna be two pixels. And now let's add our color by clicking on the color picker. And this again is going to be a transparent color. So I've just dragged down the slider and I'm gonna paste my values like that. So now we have a solid line there. So here, everything is all good. I'm gonna save that. Now it's time to add our wood title. So I'm gonna search for our wood title here, select it. So you can see here it brings 
it brings in our title. So I'm just gonna make sure it's our modern chair. Now let's modify the text settings. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and go to our title text. So making sure that it's set to play fair display. And we also need to set our weight to heavy and our font style is gonna be uppercase. And now let's add our text color. And this color here is gonna be a really dark gray. So I'm gonna click here on this color picker and add my color. Now let's add our text size. So our size here is going to be 2.9 VW. So I'm just gonna enter it here. And we also need to enter the sizes for the tablet and the phone. So I'm gonna click on this little icon. For the tablet is gonna be 10 VW. And then for the phone, it's gonna be 12. You can see the sizes over here. That looks great. Switching back over here to the desktop view, the next stage is to um, add some spacing. So we also, we all, we all need to um, add a top margin here because things are very close to our countdown timer. So let's head over here to spacing and we're gonna add forward VW to the top there. And to the bottom, we're gonna set this to, let's set it to three VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save next, I'm gonna add my wood description. So I'm gonna search for my wood description and here it is. So this is gonna pull my uh, short description here. So I'm gonna click on latest product, choose modern chair. Now let's go to the design tab. And here we need to change our font to open sans. We also need to set our size and this is gonna be 0.8 VW. Our text alignment here is going to be justified. Go ahead and select that tab. Now let's add our Woo price by clicking here on this plus button. Right, so I'm just gonna search for my Woo price and select it. So clicking here on the design tab, I'm gonna go to the price text, change this to open sans. And for our color, let's set this to black, add our size and our size here is going to be 2VW and the line height is going to be 1.8. Now, ideally we would like this to really stand out. So let's make this bold. There we go. So that looks much better now. Okay, so let's go to sizing. And here we're going to set up our width and we're gonna set it to 10 VW. And then for the spacing, we're going to add a margin to make sure that our text here is not way too close to the description. And we're also going to add a bottom margin of 4VW and let's save this. Now let's add a woo add to cart. So I'm gonna just click on this plus button. So I'm gonna search for add to cart. So over here on the product, it's gonna be the office chair. So make sure you uh, assign this to the actual item that you have in there. Right, so what we're gonna do now is to go into our text field and make some changes to our, our fields text. All right, so let's start with our design here and we're gonna go to our fields background color. So for our fields background color, I'm gonna click on this icon and let's add a background here within the brackets. There we go. And by the way, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I am using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now let's go to our button settings because our button here does not have any designs on it. So let's go ahead and change that. So you need to activate use custom styles for button and let's add our button text size. So here it's at 20 pixels, set this to one VW. Our text color here is going to be white and our button background, I'm gonna click here on this plus button and paste it in here. So for our button border radius, uh, we don't really need any radius on this. So I'm gonna set this to zero. Now for our font, we're gonna set this to open sans just to uh, stay consistent with uh, what we've been using before. And for our style here, we're gonna make it all caps, uppercase. Now let's head over to padding gonna add a top padding of one VW and we also need to add the same to the bottom as well. So as you can see, I've just activated my chain there. So my value can be applied on both sides. And then I'm also gonna add left and right to make our button nice and big. So pretty much this is our final design. I'm gonna save this. And uh, if we take a quick preview, in fact, let me save this and Let's take a look at this in the actual browser. So I'm gonna exit the visual builder and this is our final design. So as you can see, we have a countdown timer now and this is a this is the final design.
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.